Hello, I hope you guys are all doing great. This is the nail art design we're going to be working on today. For this design, we're going to be using beads and different sizes of rhinestones. You're going to need to choose two of your favorite nail polish colors. I chose turquoise and white. Let's get started. We're going to begin by applying a background color. I decided to add a beige. I'm already wearing my base coat and you can definitely go bare with it but I wanted a little bit of color on the background. So I'm going to be using this one by CoverGirl and it's blush in ivory number 020. So I'm going to be applying this one over the entire nail. I'm going to go lightly on it. I don't want so much of it. I just want a little bit of color on the background. So all I'm going to do is apply it over the entire background. So there I have it. I'm going to allow this to completely dry and then we're going to move in to do our white French manicure. Now we will begin with our French manicure. Any white polish uh, of your choice will do. So I'm going to get my white polish and I'm going to start doing my French manicure. I'm cleaning out my brush as clean as I can get it and all I'm going to do is I'm going to start by following the shape of my nail but any method you use to do your French manicure is going to work great and do keep in mind that your lines won't have to be perfectly straight because we're going to be covering that area up unless you don't plan to cover it up then try to do it as straight as you can so all I'm going to do here now is fill it in and our French manicure will be ready And there we have our French manicure. So the next thing to do is allow this to completely dry and we're going to go in with our turquoise nail polish. Now we're ready to begin with our sponging. I'm going to be sponging a turquoise color. The one I'm going to be using is by Simple Colors and it's called Aqua Number no. 10. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to get my makeup sponge and I'm going to be applying it over the very tip of my French manicure. I don't want to do all the way down the white area. I want to leave half of my nail um, white. So half of my nail is going to be white and half is going to be the turquoise color. So I'm going to start over just on the half part of the nail. All I'm doing is that area. And I'm for sure being careful not to go down too low. So all I'm doing is sponging that area. The next thing I'm going to do now that this is already sponged is I'm gonna get the turquoise color and I'm gonna be polishing the very tips of the nail. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean out my brush pretty well and I'm just doing the very tips of the nail with the turquoise polish. And what I'll be able to do in this um, while doing the very tips is I'm also gonna do my nails free edge. So I'm gonna go all the way around and I'm gonna be doing my nails free edge. So that's what we've done there so far. We're going to allow this to completely dry and if you see that you need a little bit more then um, go ahead and sponge a little bit more. But I'm going to allow this to completely dry that way I can go in with the turquoise glitter. Now I'm ready to begin with the glitter. The glitter I'm going to be using on the tips of my turquoise polished area is this one by Simple Colors. And this one's called Nail Junkie number 927. So what I'm going to do with this turquoise glitter polish. I'm only going to apply it over the turquoise area. So I'm going to just be applying it over that area, sort of like tapping it on so I can have enough of it um, stay on. So that's all I've done. I wanted to add some glitter to the bottom area so as soon as this dries we'll start with the white glitter polish on the bottom area. Now I'm going to be applying the white glitter polish over the entire nail including the blue area. So I'm going to be using this one by Simple Colors and it's called Smoking Hot number 858. So I'm going to be applying this one over the entire nail. Now we'll allow this to dry before we continue. What I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be applying the bigger nail art round little glitters you see on the tips of the nail. And the way I'm going to apply those is I'm going to remove them from the nail polish I'm going to be using. This nail polish is by Clean Color and it's called 
starry blue, number 33. So the way I'm going to apply these, I'm going to get my glopping piece of paper and I'm going to um, just place them on my paper. And I'm going to be removing them from there one by one. So I'm going to be using my dotting tool, the, the thin part of my dotting tool, and I'm just going to pick them and place them on my nail, randomly wherever you'd like to place them. So this takes a little bit of time, but this is a good way of doing it because it already has the clear polish and you won't have to apply it. And you don't have to um, apply too many of them. Just a little bit would be fine. All I'm doing there is that. So I've applied a couple of them on the very um, edge of my nail. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to allow this to completely dry. And even there, that would be a really nice look. But I'm going to be applying the bigger rhinestones and some of the nail art beads. So I'm going to allow this to dry and come back and we'll start applying the bigger rhinestones and the small ones on the sides. Now we're ready to begin placing the bigger size rhinestones and then the two on the sides. I'm going to be using a 4mm size rhinestone and then the other ones are 2mm size rhinestones. On the regular fingers, on my four fingers, I used the 3mm, but on my thumbs I used the 4mm just because they're a little bit wider. So I'm going to begin by applying clear polish in the middle area of my nail. Any clear polish of your choice is going to work great. So I'm going to apply it over in the middle area of my nail. I'm going to get my rhinestone picker for the bigger, um, for the bigger jewels. And I'm just going to pick it up and I'm going to place it right where I want it. And where I want it is right in the middle, right there. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a little bit more clear polish on the sides of my nail so I can place the 2mm size blue rhinestones. So I'm just applying a tiny little bit on the sides and the way I'm going to apply these is I'm going to apply them going uh, downward, sideways. So I'm going to get my rhinestone picker and I'm going to place the first one over on that area. I'm going to be placing my second one a little bit lower going slanted sideways. So we're going downward towards the side. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to open my blue uh, rhinestones in case I need um, a little more. I'm going to place the clear polish there. I'm going to get my rhinestone picker and I'm going to place the next one over on that area and I'm making sure to leave space in between so that I can place the beads a little later on. The next one I'm going to be placing is this one over here, which turned backward on me. So let me see if I could get another one in here. And I'm going to place it the same way I did the other ones, going, going downward. Okay. So all I've done is that, and I'm going to place this one going downward a little more and see if it's evened out with the other side. And if it is, you're ready to begin applying the beads. The colored beads I'm going to be using are the silver beads you see here. And I'm just going to be applying them over the entire area. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to be using my small dotting tool pickers uh, to place the rhinestones exactly where I want them. So like I said, remember to leave space in between so that you can um, fit the beads through those areas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my clear polish again and I'm going to be applying um, it over the entire middle area that way I can start um, placing the beads so I'm just going to put it in there and I'm going to get a bunch of them and I'm just going to place them round and round and then I'll have the chance to just to place them all the way around that's all I'm doing and this is the part of the nail art that is very time consuming but it's very worth it once you're done it looks very pretty um, so all I'm gonna do there is I'm gonna go all the way around taking my time placing them all the way around and um, so I don't waste your time I'll be back after I'm done placing them in between all the little crevices 
I'm done applying the beads in certain areas and as you can see there I've gone in through the little crevices and through the little sides but I wanted to show you two of the areas I did just like you see on the bottom I applied them going downward sort of like in a V shape and I did the same exact thing on the top so the way I did that all you do is apply your uh, clear polish and I'm going to be dipping in the tip of my dotting tool and I'm just going to be placing them in any order that they want to fall into and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to um, mold them or fix them until they end in a V just like you see there and then another thing I wanted to show you is over on the corners what I did on all of them is that I um, ended them with two little long sides and the way I did that is the same exact way I'm gonna apply some clear polish over in the in the very cornered area and I'm gonna dip my tool and I'm gonna pick just a couple of them and all I'm gonna do is place them and uh, fix them so that they end up in a V shape and um, just placing I recommend that you when doing this separate them don't pick them out from there what I've done over here is I've placed them on a piece of paper that way I can pick them out individually so all you do is that you you um, place them until they're the two sides are completely even and then you have your corners on the sides a little bit lower and then uh, the two areas above and under the biggest rhinestone also make them a little bit longer so that's how you're gonna get this nail art design it is time consuming but it's so worth it and you can use your favorite colors I really hope you guys like the design and try it out be safe and I'll see you next time bye